Let us begin with the last chapter in your textbook, Pollution of Air and Water. The Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world, a symbol of love, a structure so beautiful, a marble so pristine, it leaves the viewer spellbound. The Taj Mahal has attracted tourists from the world over year after year. But year after year, industrial activity, burning of fossil fuels and garbage, among other things, have left carbon deposits on this iconic structure, turning the once spotlessly white marble slightly brownish yellow. Isn't that just disappointing? We are all aware that the quality of air that we breathe is not what it used to be. Rising smog levels, adulterated water in water bodies has become everyday news. How has it all gone so wrong for so long? And who is responsible for it? There would come a time when clean air and clean water will become more precious than real estate, swanky cars and other luxuries that we all want. Let us understand how our activities are harming the environment and in turn harming us as well. We all may survive without food and water for a few days or a few hours, but can we survive without air? No. We constantly need air for breathing. And you may already know that the air in the atmosphere has 78% nitrogen and about 21% is oxygen. Carbon dioxide, argon, methane, ozone and water vapor are also present in very small quantities. Now, this air can be polluted either naturally or because of human activities. And the substances which contaminate air are called air pollutants. Forest fires, volcanic eruptions, dust storms, pollens from the plants are some of the natural causes of air pollution. In winters, in the early morning, you may have seen a thick fog-like layer in the atmosphere. This is not actually fog, but smoke in the air mixed with fog, which is known as smog. Smoke may contain oxides of nitrogen, which combine with other air pollutants and fog to form smog. And smog causes breathing difficulties such as asthma, cough and wheezing in children. We spoke of the iconic Taj Mahal a little earlier. And I told you how its pristine marble has been affected due to years of industrial and other activities. If you have an elder in a family who has visited this beautiful site a few decades ago, procure a picture if they have one and compare it with a picture from the recent years and see if you observe any difference. Over the past two decades, India's very own contribution to the seven wonders of the world has become a matter of concern. Experts have warned that air pollutants are damaging Taj Mahal's white marble. So you see, not only living organisms, but non-living things like buildings, monuments and statues also get affected by air pollution. And the Taj Mahal is a clear example of this. And what has caused this damage to the Taj Mahal? Well, a lot of industrial activity happens in and around Agra which has been detrimental to this structure. There are rubber processing, automobile and chemical factories and the Mathra oil refinery. And all of these have been responsible for producing pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. These harmful gases react with the water vapor present in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid and nitric acid. And these Gases come down with rain, making the rain acidic, which is known as acid rain. Acid rain is highly corrosive for the marble of the monument. And this corroding of the marble is called marble cancer. Carbon dioxide traps heat and does not allow it to escape into space. As a result, the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere keeps increasing. And this is called global warming. Other gases like 
methane, nitrous oxide and water vapor also contribute towards this effect. And these, along with carbon dioxide, are called greenhouse gases. I just told you that the gradual increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere is called global warming. And let me tell you how this rise in temperature works very viciously as it affects other things in the environment. It is a serious threat. Let us learn more about this threatening phenomenon of global warming. Global warming can cause sea levels to rise dramatically. In many places, coastal areas have already been flooded. Moreover, global warming directly affects rainfall patterns, agriculture, forests, plants and animals. A large part of the Asian continent is threatened by the effects of global warming. A few years ago, Delhi was one of the most polluted cities in the world and it was choking at the hands of the automobiles running in the city. A decision was taken to switch to cleaner fuels like CNG and unleaded petrol. Although the city continues to struggle with air pollution and visibility is quite low, especially during winters, these measures have resulted in cleaner air for the city. Another successful initiative was the Say No to Crackers campaign, which helped tremendously to control pollution levels during Diwali. And this was started by school students. Also, deforestation has to stop. More trees in the environment, healthier is the environment. We should also plant saplings and have potted plants in our homes. There should be collective efforts to switch to cleaner fuels and use energy in its cleaner forms like solar energy, wind energy and hydropower. Join me in the next segment where we will study about another type of pollution which needs mankind's immediate attention. See you soon. Tutor me for more amazing video lectures. Download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.